This is the FV4202, the British medium tank at tier 10. Now, for me, I personally think, and your opinions may differ, but I personally think this is one of the hardest tanks to fully get to grips with in the game. It is not an easy tank for lots and lots of reasons. Now, if you're a super duper unicorn or a pro, then this tank probably doesn't give you any troubles or any problems because you're a good player and you know how to play it. But the vast majority of the player base isn't super duper unicorn or pro. They're average like me. So what are the secrets and the tips on how to play this tank when you're just a normal average player? That's what this video is all about. Hello again everybody and welcome back to Fujits Blitz and this video is a guide on how to play this tank, the British Tier 10 Medium, the FV4202, a notoriously difficult tank to get to grips with. But what is it about this tank? Well, I'll tell you. Firstly, this is it off against other um, tech tree mediums and as you can see, it's not the worst. It's not best, but it's not the worst. It's got good DPM, good aim time, pretty decent win rate. Although, you know, quite a few other tanks. If I stick in that Hesh gun, then the DPM is off the charts compared to the others with their premium animo. Okay, so the penetration sucks, but it's going to. It's Hesh, which is basically like HE. But aside from that, on paper, this tank should be a dream to play. So why do so many people struggle in it? Wow, that is a ponderous thought. Now, this is what it says in Blitzhanger, and if you, as you see there, I mean, the penetration and damage and everything, according to Blitzhanger, rather than Blitz Stars, is saying that it's number one in absolutely everything. And whilst it may not be number one in absolutely everything, you know what? It is up there. It is pretty close, especially with that Hesh gun. But therein belies the issue. The Hesh rounds and the Hesh gun are not easy to play with. And we'll get to that later with some videos. So, as I said, on paper, this tank should actually be relatively simple to play. It should be easier than the Leo. And as you can see here, what Wargaming is suggesting is, it's not very good for frontline, it's not really very good for anything apart from a peek of boo Let's have a look at this armor profile. Whilst what the tank looks like in a render, it's a pretty funky looking tank, and it's based on a real tank. I mean, this tank eventually led to the British developing the Chieftain, which was one of their main battle tanks for a very long time. And here you can start to understand some of the problems in this tank. The armor profile is almost non-existent. Now, when I stick it up against an E100, boy, you know, that turret, whilst you would think that most British tanks all down have got a pretty solid turret, the turret on this thing is absolutely paper thin. You will get bounces in it, but this is not a tank that you can stick anywhere near the front line. And this is where the problems in playing this tank start to become apparent because people think it's like an, all the other British type tanks, which means you stick it all down, you're gonna get relatively good bounces off that turret because you have got decent gun depression. But what's it actually like to play? Because this is the thing, this is what we've got to look at. Well, this is me rolling out on Black Goldville and we're going in this direction. And then I notice that actually the entirety of my team is going the opposite way, apart from the Progetto and the Bat Chat. So that automatically makes me rethink. I mean, there's no point me going up there without support. This is not a tank you need to front line in. This is a tank that you really, really need to nurture. Now, I know on the other side, as we can see there, because he's just alluded to me, we have a player from Immol who's a really good player, and he's out in a tune with another really good player, and they are in AMX 50Bs. One thing this tank does have is a great gun. This tank is the British version of the Leo 1, another tank that is pretty notoriously difficult to play in the hands of the average player. So you need to get yourself into a position whereby you can protect your tank and still get shots across. And as you can see here, I mean, I've already dished out almost 800 damage with two shots and I've not been spotted and I'm pretty safe. And this is what you need to think about when playing this tank. If you play this tank overly aggressively, 
if you YOLO in this tank, if you do not give this tank some TLC and some nurturing, it will punish you because this is not a tank that you can roll around the battlefield in and you can face off against E100s or any other tank, as a matter of fact. Because every single tank at tier 9 and tier 10 is going to pen you and it's going to slice through you like butter if you're in the wrong spot. Yes, you will get bounces on occasion, but the thing about this tank is use the gun and you use the gun to the maximum effect. Now, Hesh Ammunition. Hesh Ammunition is effectively HE. Now, HE Ammunition is no good against things like tracks, spaced armor, etc, etc. So, whilst you may have a lot of alpha damage with your Hesh gun, you're not going to be getting that alpha damage if you're hitting in the wrong place, just like HE Ammunition. You're only going to get small amounts of splash damage. And a lot of people turn around and say, oh, I don't understand that Hesh gun, it's, it's, it's rubbish. It's not rubbish. It's just that we don't know how to use the Hesh appropriately. Now, soft skin targets, soft, you know, light tanks, projettos, even, even grills, even that 183, you can see here where the Hesh is going to penetrate. It's going to penetrate everything on the turret very easily. This tank is a dream. So remember that. I mean, I've done 3,000 now. I'm not setting the world on fire at all. I mean, I get a third class, but I'm happy with that because the FV4202, well, that could have ended disastrously. I could have carried on going to the caves and we would have been absolutely annihilated. So this is a tank that makes you play differently. Now, this is me rolling out on Dynasty's Pearl, a map that I actually don't like that much and the thing about this tank is you need to pick your battles like I said this is where people become unstuck in it so I wanted to go to where that T-54 is going but he's going there but I'm going to carry on going up oh no I'm not because there's a tank there and there's a tank there and I can start seeing that their tanks are coming into view and I don't want to be anywhere near that because I don't have the turret armor to go haul down so I need to back away and I'm going to hope that they're going to push on the 54 because then I can help him. But the 54 is not making any move to come back from his position. So I'm trying to see if I can get into a better position and I can't. He is now being pushed. There's no point in me trying to face off against an FV4 to uh, FE21 um, uh, there, 215B, sorry. But look at that. That's a 500 roll into the front plate. But now the 54 is dead. Their entire team is almost there. I need to get out of dodge because they are just going to absolutely annihilate me. And I don't want that. I want to stay alive. So I'm going to rotate out of that position and I'm going to go around the map and then I'm going to go back to that position. So this is the thing you need to start doing in a tank like the FV4202 because unless you start using its mobility, and relocating and using it sensibly. Well, it's no point firing Hesh there, look, because it's going to not do anything, but I get a nice 400 roll and I get a nice bounce because he hit my upper plate. So it's got a good reload. It's got a good gun. The AP is quite good as well because it's APCR, it's standard ammo when you got the Hesh round in. This is a tank that needs to have its ability used and it needs to be used to a point where you are either sniping or taking them by surprise, like I'm doing here. Now, I should have used Hesh there in the back plate of the 54. The reason I didn't is because if he would have turned just slightly like he does there, I only get a track shot and I don't get much damage. And that is the problem with Hesh. So you've got to be very careful with the Hesh gun. But something to take away from this is constantly relocate your tank. Don't play this tank super aggressively unless you are a super skilled player. Because if you're an average player or a newish player, and you know, you're I'm talking about those with you know pretty decent win rates up to about 50 odd, 54 percent maybe, then if you want to increase your ability on this tank, then you need to play this tank conservatively and you need to play it sensibly. There's no point yellowing. 
There's no point rushing in because only fools rush in in this tank. You need to use your head and you need to remember that it's got good mobility, it's got a good reload, it's got a good gun, it's got a fantastically accurate gun, realistically. And with the Hesh in, you can get some really good damage. No point firing Hesh there because I would have hit the carcass of the tank. That's why I switched to APCR, by the way. And this is what you need to do with this tank. Now, we've done 3.1 damage here with 3,500 3, now damage. We've been pretty okay. We've done well. And we haven't really put ourselves in harm's way. See, again, look, I get the tracks of the T-54 with the Hesh. And you get nothing from that. And get a good bounce there from the object. Bit lucky. He hit my top plate again. But I'm going to try and move maneuver myself to the point where that T-54 is going to come around the top. He is going to come over the top. I am going to see him. And I will be able to wreck him with APCR. Because the penetration on this tank is pretty nice. This is how you should be playing the FV, guys. And you'll you start to like it a lot more. And you'll start to understand that it's not the traumatic tank that everybody seems to think it is. It just needs a different style of gameplay. And that different style, as I said, is more conservative and more sensible. Anyway, I've been Fujit. That has been my take on the FV4202. Look at that, we only got a first class. I thought we did well, but I didn't take, take any bases. But I was top damage and, you know, I'm, that's a pretty good game in that tank. I like it. It's a good tank, but it's a notoriously tricky tank. Anyway, as I said, I've been Fujit. That has been the FV4202. That has been my quick guide for the average player. By all means, comment and everything below. If you've got any decent replays, wing them across to me, fujitsblitz at gmail.com. Well, as always, big thank you to all my YouTube members, patrons, and subscribers. And until the next time, guys, same way usual stuff. Stay safe out there. Have fun on the battlefield and happy tanking because that is what it's all about. Having fun and being happy.